guitar! Wow! Thanks, Gran! The Super Loud 2. Special Extra Loud Edition with added loudness. Loud, then. Comes with these industrial strength earplugs. Fantastic! Let's try it out, eh? It'll have to wait, Dennis. I promised Walter we would be the test audience for his lecture. Walter? Lecture? Oh. Well, of course, the very few of us here who are as smart as I will know that the process is called photosynthesis. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed my talk on the science of flowers. Bertie, if you please. Great! Is it over? Until tomorrow at assembly, yes. This was just a dress rehearsal. You say something? Come on, Nasha. We've got a brand new amp and a world waiting to complain. Now, let their ears beg for mercy. <laughs> Go bouncy castle! Sorry, B. Band practice. Got senses to assault, you know. comes first. to let B make their first move. Ah! What was that? Yuck! Nappy attack! Incoming! Just give us the location of the volume knob and you can go. OK, have it your way. Curly, bring me the soap and water. It's bath time. <gasps> it's better. Loosen 
mind your tongue a little? where the volume knob is, or I will give you a kiss. Oh, Dennis, no! I know what I'm doing, Curly. No! OK. Me tell. Me head knob. Walter, Dennis will be your flower. <gasps> no! Good morning, children. At today's assembly, we have an extra special treat for you. Just think floral, Dennis. Now let's go check our props, Dudley. And don't think you can dodge this, Dennis. I'll be watching. Me? <laughs> Thought you were grounded. Me escape. Me sorry, Den Den. Yeah, me too, B. Me help. How? In three minutes' time, Beano Town's biggest menace will be Beano Town's biggest laughing stock. So, unless you know how to empty a school hall in under. <gasps> of course! B, your bottom can empty any room in seconds. But no beans! Yeah, they're all still in the treehouse, and Dad's boarded that up. All right, team, on stage, please. <gasps> Wait! Faster, faster! For Den Den! Oh, a spotlight and a full house. What more could one want? <laughs> Paper bag. Think I'm going to puke. So, without further ado, let us raise the curtain on... Oopsie. Once B brings that volume knob, this new amp is finally gonna rock Beano Town! Glad you two aren't fighting now. Yeah, we're a good team. Yep, you're a sis in a million, B. B's got a nubby nub nub! Great! Where'd you hide it then? Oh, brilliant! Disgusting, but brilliant! Excuse me, but don't you think that's a little loud? Loud? Hey! Oh, no, 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 carry on. Uh, my mistake. Oh, yeah, we've 
waited for them to do the parkour. It's got to be the most amazing park in the world. Yeah, imagine all the brilliant slides and roundabouts you could build in a year. Yeah, maybe they've got water slides and, and a roller coaster. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Hang on, where's all the fun stuff? Where's my roller coaster? Maybe the play park's been moved because it's so big and great. Ah, well, we're here now. Might as well make the best of it. Hooray! <laughs> on me head, pie face! I got it, I got it! Come on this way! Hey, over to me! Oi, you lot! Can't you see the sign? No ball games! We're just playing, mister. I'm not going to win Park of the Year with scruffs like you around. We're just having a bit of fun. I said no ball games. Ah, no one messes with Parky Bowls. Cooey, Dennis! Isn't it lovely, Dennis? Look at these daisies be picked for me. Daisies? Please! <gasps> This is just lovely, isn't it? <laughs> Fancy a game, Dennis? Don't push your luck. Chess in the park. Rally the troops! Fire cannons! Boy, what's your game? No cannons in the park! Didn't you see the sign? But I've been doing these historical reenactments for years. Everyone likes the Colonel's battles. Yes, it's a park tradition. Are those park daisies, madam? Oh, um, um... No battles! I'm not having it! Now clear off, or I'll have the law on a lot of you. Go on! You've not heard the last of this, you horrid little man. What a rotten day this has turned into. That rotten parky has ruined the place. Dennis, look! Hey, things are looking up. <laughs> it's all the old park stuff. The parky dumped it all. How could he? My favourite swing. Here's that dent from when I fell on the slide. They look like giant dinosaur bones, don't they, Nasha? Dinosaur bones! Hey, that gives me an idea! Come on, lads! Maybe we'll get our great day in the park after all! Whoa, it's taken all day. Well, that's the last of it, Dennis. Good! Just time to get to the park before it closes. Now, will you tell us what you're up to? Absolutely! Nasha, would you do the honours? <laughs> <gasps> it's a pond! Oh my! Oh, it's a pond monster! <gasps> oh, 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 <laughs> Got him! Hardest turn, boys! <gasps> this can't happen! Not on the first day! Oh, oh, here, get back! Here! Can't you see the signs? <laughs> that fixed him! Full speed ahead! <laughs> are all about. Come on, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's have that football game we've waited a year for. Right then, time for kickoff. Did you see the monster, young man? Monster? Uh... Oh, hang on. There's Walter and Parky Bowles. 
water. How does it feel to be the only one with actual pictures of the monster? I just want to help science in any way I can. Parky Bowls, a whole year working on the park, and now everyone just wants to see the monster. Will this affect your chance of winning Park of the Year? Oh, yes, absolutely. I put my life and soul into this park. You've said you believe the monster is a hoax. Is that right? Of course it's a hoax. Come on, lads. Park is getting suspicious. Let's go. How could a giant monster exist in a pond this size without us all knowing about it, eh? Mark my words. This is the work of rival park keepers trying to spoil my park. The park's worse than ever now. Yes. Thought that with that monster scaring everyone away, I could have my Waterloo reenactment. Now all these monster hunters are here. If only that monster would come back and scare them off again. Um, I don't think that's very likely, Colonel. What's that? Well, we built the monster to show that rotten parky. You built it? Well done. Serves him right, too. Yeah, but, um, <clears throat> we crashed it in the trees. Crashed, eh? Well, we just need to mount a salvage operation, then, eh? Oh, what? Where is it? Ooh, it's freezing out here. Here ah! I am, being blended into that bush for 40 minutes. Oh, well, why didn't you see? Well, it's my personal best in blending. <laughs> Right, lads, let's get kitted out. We'll soon have this Hulk rescued from the ocean floor. What's all this stuff? Scuba gear from my Navy days. Special ops. But the monster's stuck in the trees. It's still in the water, though, isn't it? Plus, you can't have a salvage operation without scuba gear. It wouldn't be right. Why's mine got a palm tree on it? Yes. Well, uh, blending in again, you see. Never know when you'll need to hide in the palm trees. So you didn't just get the stuff on holiday, then? Let's get this monster back out of the water, shall we? Now, I know all about animals, and if there was a pond monster, it'd be a lot smaller, not the size of a whale. I've no doubt this is a ruse by jealous park keepers. Eh, trying to trash my lovely park. Is Parky Bowls right, or are we walking into the jaws of a giant monster? Let's find out. Jeff, get the witch. <laughs> It's too heavy. We'll never get it back in the water. Ah! We've got a bite, viewers. Good. We'll soon have evidence to expose these rotten hoaxes. Gosh, looks like you were right, Parky Bowls. It is a hoax. Deliberate sabotage, as I thought. Of course, I wasn't scared. A monster that size couldn't exist. There's simply not enough for it to eat in our pond. That was close. Come on, lads. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You're right, Nasha. We've lost the Colonel. Yeah, you see? This is clearly a slide. Uh, these are swing chains. And... <gasps> What's that? As I was saying, it's just a hunk of metal. Real monsters are green and slimy, aren't they? <laughs> and for something to survive on the fish in this pond, as I said, it'd have to be much smaller. How much smaller, exactly? Well, I suppose about the size of a man. Hang on! Over there! There's something in the bushes! This tin can doesn't even have flippers! <laughs> you mean flippers like those? <laughs> yes! Exactly like that! <laughs> ah! A monster! <laughs> ah! Stay away from Beano Town Park! There are real live monsters here! Stay away from Beano Town Park! Leg it! <laughs> I see. How about helping a chap out with his mask, eh? Got stuck in those weeds. <laughs> Looks like we've got our park back. And we don't need slides and swings to have fun here either. No, indeed. <laughs> Oh, that mangy cur scared the life out of me. Come here, you hairy little wretch.
me! Uh-oh. Dennis, what do you think you're doing? Yes, you know I hate bees. Oh, sorry, Dad. It was just a bit of fun. The sort of fun we can do without, Dennis. Oh, I'd blame that new joke shop. Yes, stay away from it. Do something sensible for a change. All right. I'll take Nasha for a nice walk. <laughs> to the joke shop! <laughs> Hi, Mr Ha Ha! Dennis, good to see you again. You too. So, what's new? Ah, vampire chattery teeth. <laughs> With a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Added bad breath. <laughs> <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, hello, Mother. <laughs> oh, yes, Mother. No, Mother. Oh, of course, Mother. What's wrong? My Mother, she's flying into Beano Town this morning, which means she's going to find out I run a joke shop. So, what's the problem? When she gave me money to set up a business, she thought I was a... Vet. If she finds out the truth, I'll have to close down. <gasps> close the shop? No! I'm afraid so. Unless... <gasps> we turn this shop into a vet for the day! You mean, play a trick on my mother? <laughs> well, well, I mean, that would be... Fun? <laughs> Curly, get pie face and get down to Mr Ha Ha's. We've got an emergency. Mother, quick, hide! Mother! Hello, Hardy. Uh, welcome to my practice. Uh, how, how was your journey? The flight was bumpy, the taxi was smelly. This is it? Yes? You don't seem very busy. Uh, I'm expecting my assistant to bring in a patient any second. That's us! Come on, Nasha! Ah, there you are. And who is this little fellow? Uh, uh, Nasha. And what seems to be the problem? Uh, uh, pointy arrowitis. Ah, oh, yes. Pop him on the table. Surely there's no hope. Shouldn't you just put him out of his misery? <laughs> Let's see. A uh, mallet, a clamp. <laughs> Hang on, Mr. Ha Ha. I think we need an anaesthetic. Let us begin. Uh, Mother, you'd better sit down. Tweezers. Check. Lights. Check. Dramatic music. Check. Then I'm going in. That's one. Oh, yeah. And then there. Oh, oh. Oh. Last one. It's going to be tricky. <gasps> Don't lose it now, Doctor. Now to wrap up. There. Right as rain. <laughs> the treatment, won't he? D oh, yes. Yes, say, in a, a week or two. Well done, Hardy. You've saved him. <sighs> We've got a problem, Den. Look outside. <laughs> Oops. Uh, uh, we're closed. Closed? Oh, do your job, Hardy. Save these poor animals now. Oh, yes, Mother. Um... Telescope! Telesco telescope? Hmm. 
Uh, he's cross-eyed. Hey! Uh, he's suffering from the, the concentric pupils. We've got just the thing. He might have, uh, um... Uh, low... Low... volume? Low volume... Mm, maximosis! Exactly! Uh, he's lost his voice. Try this, Mr. Ha Ha! Of course, a uh, thermometer. Classic case of nippy rodent syndrome, wouldn't you say, Mr. Ha Ha? Oh, definitely. Yes, a, a very bad chill. No problem. This will warm him up. I'm very proud of you, Hardy. Now, give me a tour of Beano Town so I can show off my clever son. Oh, yes, Mother. Dennis, help! Dr. Ha Ha, what about our vet school? Vet in training, uh, that's us. Oh, yes, eager to learn. More school? <gasps> Hardy, you've got little apprentices. You're so dedicated. Go. Teach. <clears throat> Oops. And who is this? I'm the local vet, and I've been getting a lot of dissatisfied customers. <gasps> ah. May I suggest, Mr. Ha Ha, that you stick to what you know. Go back to running a joke shop. I can't believe my ears. A joke shop? Can this really be true, Hardy? You run a joke shop? But it's the best shop in town, Mrs. Ha Ha. My favourite. Please don't be angry. Fooling you was my idea. Angry? I'm shocked. Hardy Ha Ha, you always said you wanted to be a vet. Mother, that was when I was five. But can you honestly say that you're happy? Larking about in a joke shop? We're all happy in the shop, Mrs. Ha Ha, aren't we? Oh, oh yes. yes! I suppose if you're happy, that's all that really matters. <laughs> well, don't just stand there gawping. Show me everything! <laughs> Results! Oh, well, if you'd like to come this way, Mother, here we have a drawer full of fake doggy doo-doos. <laughs> That's always a winner. Uh, of course, the bigotry, wigs, hats, itchy powder, whoopee cushions. <laughs> 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 popularity rock in a bag. Oh, it's a winner. <laughs> oh, dear. God, it's hilarious. Dennis, I thought I told you to stay away from this joke shop. But, Mum! Oh, please don't be too hard on him. Boys will be boys and they all like a joke. And some of these things are quite amusing. <laughs> Very amusing, in fact. <laughs> Now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! Yes, Bee, it's a horsey! 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 No! What lie! Then why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! Hussey? And 
Here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. <laughs> What do you think of that, B? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Come on, B. I'm doing my best. Loves. Hello, Gran. What's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. <laughs> oh, she is in a mood. <laughs> That's because nobody's got any hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. B, I've been thinking. Riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. Where horsey? Any minute now, love. Dennis is just bringing him. Why do we have to do this? Cos we're mates, Curly. And mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse. So no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> horsey! Horsey! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Uh, nay! <laughs> B! No! Horsey, eat! Joy! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child pull up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. Real horsey! All of you! Out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. Oh, oh yum. Pie face, where are we going? OK. Angle of inclination, seven degrees. Wind speed, about three knots south southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. Oh, Father, you must take more care. Where horsey? <laughs> oh, father! A horse with him, has he? Okay, I'll uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, 
Any more trouble? Well, I'll see. <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B. Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, ridden by... Oh, 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 there seemed to be a change of rider. Heavens! I know jockeys are small, but that one's absolutely tiny. Ooh, can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute! That is B! And that's Dennis! Hang on, B! We're coming! Wheelie Grand! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster, Grand! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, they're neck and neck. It's anybody's race. Come here, B! <laughs> Faster, Gran! Right side. At least B was happy. Even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go then. Giddy up. Hey, <laughs> Curly. Come on, Pie Face. Savor the taste of freedom. Okay, just for a bit. As long as I get to savor the taste of pie later. Hey, hey, all right, let's go. School.
will be finishing about now. And it doesn't begin again for six whole weeks. Curly's going camping with his parents. And Pie Face is visiting pie factories in Europe. So we've got to keep Dennis busy. Stop him from being a pest. Right. Who can that be? Surely he can't have got into trouble already. School only finished five minutes ago. I've only just had this moustache waxed. My jumper's soaked right through and it's dry clean only, you know. And as for my boots, they're ruined. Hi, Dad! Mum! <coughs> Aha! Uh, hello, Colonel. Has it been raining? <coughs> hey, boy, do you want to go for a walk? <coughs> Hold on a minute. The Colonel here says he was knocked into Beano Town Lake by a football. It wasn't me. Okay, technically that is my football, but it was Curly who kicked it. Dennis! We only went to the park for a game of footy, but Curly curved the ball past Pythes and it went into the lake. I tried to get it back with a tennis racket. You're grounded, son. For the rest of the day. But then I dropped the racket and tried to get that back with a golf club. For the whole weekend. A week. But for some reason, Mrs Creature started chasing me, so I borrowed a bike. A month. And I cycled through some wet cement. Six months. And some thorny bushes. Two years! But I got away because I took a shortcut through Sergeant Slipper's garden. <laughs> Ten years! Dennis! How was I to know it was his birthday? You are grounded! But what for? For ever! <laughs> this is the worst thing ever. First day of the holidays and I'm grounded! I should at least be able to play in the treehouse. Ha-ha! The treehouse! That's it! Come on, Nasha. Ha-ha! So much for being... Inside! Now! Oh! You'll not get away that easily. Well, that's right. Yeah. After your shenanigans, the whole town's looking out for you. I only wanted to go to the park. I didn't mean for all that other stuff to happen. Sorry, son. Like I said, you're grounded for good. Huh. Cup of tea, Sergeant. Oh, I don't... Uh, I don't mind if I do. This is serious, Nasha. Everyone's trying to keep me indoors. I'll show them. They can't keep me grounded. And then I said, in these shoes? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I caught this paper boy doing his rounds. Dennis, it's no good trying to get out of your punishment. Go to your room. You too, Nasha. <laughs> Here, you may as well stay for a cup of tea. Oh, thanks. That'd be lovely. I think your son has misunderstood the meaning of grounded. I caught him trying to tunnel his way out. Here are your stray pups. These two trying to sneak onto our tour bus. Blooming cheek. Well, since you've come all the way over here, why don't you stay for a bit? Oh, thanks, man. Don't mind if I do. It's so boring in here. I've got to get.
get out. But I can't, cos everyone in Bean Old Town is looking out for me. That's it! It's me they're looking for, so if they can't see me... Sorry, Nasha. This is a stealth op. I can't risk being spotted. I'm out of the house and no one has spotted me. Free salt! Now for some fun! <laughs> Quiet. Where is everyone? <laughs> They're all inside. It's not much fun out here if everyone else is in there. <laughs> oh, Nasha, you're right. What's the use? It's no fun out here on my own. I might as well accept my punishment and stay indoors. Oh, hello, Miss Blenheim. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Bowles. Lovely to see you here. Oh, grounding Dennis really seems to have brought everyone together. Yeah. Brought everyone here, though. I had to come and get some more lemonade. I keep running out. And I've just made another batch of cookies. This lot eat more than Dennis and his friends put together, including Nasha. I don't know if I can take any more. When are they all going to leave? When the food runs out, I suppose. Looking after Beano Town is more trouble than keeping Dennis out of mischief. Yeah, you're right. Hang on a minute. Maybe Dennis can help us. It looks like all that escaping's tied him out. Dennis? Hmm. There's something we need you to do. Something that you do best. All right, I'll do it, but only on one condition. Anything. Come on, Nasha. It's time to join the party. <laughs> I must say, you do have your uses. Now that I've got rid of everyone, does that mean I'm ungrounded? Well, I suppose you did get everyone to go home. And you should really be out getting some fresh air, so... Yes, you're ungrounded. Result! Oh, thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Yay! The holidays start here. Woohoo! <laughs> Dennis, it's not morning yet. You have to go back to bed first. Oh! <laughs> Dennis! <laughs> Poor old Gran crashed her motorbike again. Still, at least these flowers should cheer her up, eh, Nasha? Excuse me, madam. Do you know where I can buy some flowers, please? Hey, mister, 
I'll sell you these if you like. Plenty more where they came from, eh, Nasha? <laughs> oh, thanks very much. <laughs> Uh-oh! Hi, you! We're with the flowers! What? Hang on! Oh! You now, dogs. It's a toy. Anyone can see that. Look, you pull his ear to make him wag his tail, and you press his nose to make him bark. <laughs> oh, that's good. Have a go. <laughs> <laughs> So, oh, you were sold the flowers by a boy with a dog, were you? I think I know who that is. Hello, Dennis. How's me bike? Bad news, Gran. I'm afraid it's smashed to bits. Smashed to bits? Oh, I was only doing 150. Oh, but never mind. Go and get us a cup of tea. All right, Gran. There they are! Dennis, just as I thought. Come on, come on! What's the matter with the lifts in this place? Till I tell you. <gasps> right, Nasha, we're out of here. Nasha? <gasps> Come on, where are you? <gasps> Who's a lovely little baby, eh? Dad is going to be ever so proud. And look, here he is. Hello, love. Oh, is that my little boy? Yeah, love. Oh, he's gorgeous. And look, he's got hair already. Oh, goody, goody, goo. Oh, goody, goody, goo. Here, I've uh, got something for you. Oh. Ooh, is it my favourite? <laughs> Might be. Nasha, ear boy! Oh, it is! Oh, you know how to spoil a girl. Mr. and Mrs. Butcher, sorry to trouble you, but there's been an outbreak of baboonic plug. Baboonic plug? Ooh, I've never heard of that, have you, love? No, never. Hmm. Maybe it was bubonic plague. <laughs> oh, is it serious? <laughs> oh, thought we'd just have a light snack to steady our nerves. That's very kind, love. Shame little Junior can't have any. 
He's taking it all in mind. Look how he moves his head. He's eating meat already. I reckon we've got us a child prodigy. Oh, that's Nasha for you. One sniff of free grub and his brain turns to jelly. How are you going to get him back? Simple. We put this down the chimney, he bites on it, we pull him out. You serious? Who'd be daft enough to climb up on the roof with a fishing rod? What? The authorities are now searching Beano Town for the perpetrator of this wicked hoax in which people feared they had caught Bubonic Plane. I'm sorry, that's Bubonic Plague. <laughs> now what's got into him? I think he wants to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go! Well, don't let him get dirty in the fireplace. Yeah, what's this? <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Hang on, by face! into a lot of trouble for this. Why? We're only borrowing it. Huh? <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, love, but this is beginning to cost us a fortune. Better that than a baby who won't eat. <laughs> now what's got into him? Dennis, you are so busted. But it was an accident. It's all because they took my dog. Stop talking nonsense. You are coming with me, my boy, and I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when your dad finds out about this. Where are Mr and Mrs Butcher? You left your baby at the hospital. Our baby? Huh. What do you call this, then? <laughs> you see? It's true. This is your baby here, Mrs Butcher. Look! <laughs> oh, he's lovely. <laughs> oh. 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 Don't think that you're off the hook, Dennis. But what about his house? It doesn't matter. We're just so happy to have our baby. Oh, seems you are off the hook then. Whew. Nice of you to treat us like this, Mr Butcher. My pleasure, son. Thanks to you and the insurance, we've got our dream home. Are you sure Nasha won't have some? No, thanks. Not until he's lost a bit more weight. 